Bach. We're getting used to him, yeah? <laughs> like, um, as you know, this guy did not write one inferior piece of work. And Juliet Welshman agreed to play another style of Bach's work for you. And she will do that with me. Because <laughs> I'm here standing around and I'm going to join in. <laughs> you know. So, let's see how... So what Bach did, he also wrote in simple forms. Obviously there's some very complex stuff for keyboards and um, orchestras, but he also wrote this blue book <laughs> entitled Inventionen und Symphonien. And the inventions are two-part inventions, like just one voice in the right hand of the harpsichord one voice in the left hand of the harpsichord, but we have made up our mind that they actually sound rather cool for cello and violin. And so Juliet and I, by correspondence and by general hard endeavour, made up our minds which way we were going to arrange these. And one of the early choices, which was a very sensible one, which Juliet made, was that the cello should possibly play the lower part. <laughs> we have decided to start with number one. Kunis. <laughs> We're now going to go, for no reason at all, to number 14. And this one is called number eight. <laughs> and on a one to ten, Juliet, how would you rate its difficulty? Mm, eight. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's have a look at number 10, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Do one more from the book. You tell him, Juliet. Number six. Number six. <laughs> Turn it upside down, it's a John Lennon song. 